This video covers operation of an MXT Plus hydraulic torque wrench with conventional rear reaction arms. For best bolting results, carefully follow all instructions and safety guidelines. Check the cycle counter and perform preventative maintenance and calibration at proper intervals. To configure the wrench for rear reaction, press and hold the rear arm lever and slide the reaction arm into position. Release the lever and challenge the reaction arm to make sure it is secure. To install a socket, insert the pin part way so it is held in place by the O-ring. Slide the socket onto the drive while aligning the pin with the hole on the square drive. Push the pin into the drive pin hole and secure it with the O-ring. Install the tool handle and adjust as needed. Inspect the hydraulic couplers and connect the hoses from the pump to the tool. Follow pump instructions to power up the pump and set the pressure to the corresponding target torque. With the tool sitting on the floor, press the advance button to verify the drive is turning in the correct direction. Repeat the cycle of press and release several times to test the system. Secure the back nut to prevent it from turning. Place the tool and socket over the nut so it is fully engaged. Verify the word Titan is visible on the side of the tool facing the operator. Adjust the rear reaction arms as necessary to align it flush against the reaction surface. Brace the reaction arm against a firm surface. Arrange hoses safely out of the way so they are clear of any pinch or trip hazard. Keep hands clear of reaction arms or any potential pinch points. Push and hold the advance button to begin tightening and hold until you hear an audible click, then release. Continue successive cycles of push, advance, click, and release until the socket stops moving. Attempt one more cycle to verify the socket has stopped moving. If the tool locks onto the nut, cycle the pump and it should automatically release. To loosen fasteners, reverse the drive by depressing the drive retainer, removing the drive, and locking it in place on the opposite side. Increase pump pressure sufficiently to loosen the fastener. Place the tool and socket over the nut so it is fully engaged. Verify the word loosen is visible on the side of the tool facing the operator. Make sure the reaction arm is braced against a firm surface. Keep hands clear of reaction arms or any potential pinch points. Press and hold the advance button to begin loosening and hold until you hear an audible click, then release. Continue successive cycles of push, advance, click, and release until the nut can be loosened by hand. If the nut will not turn at maximum pressure, you may require a larger wrench for loosening. 